Now I'm going to talk to you about some, some rules that you need to follow when you're working with some of the chemicals that you may come across with during the semester. So here we have methanol. This is a type of alcohol. We have a two normal solution of an acid called hydrochloric acid. And we have here what is called glacial acetic acid. This is similar to the acid found in vinegar. And this is ethanol, 100% ethanol that they call anhydrous um, ethanol. So when working with chemicals like these, you need to always protect yourself. Again, you need to have on your gloves. You need to have on your glasses to protect yourself. So always make sure before you handle any of these chemicals that you'll read the labels properly. So if you notice the labels for these chemicals are located on the, on the, um, the front here. And I'm just going to look at acetic acid, for example. So this particular chemical, it is, it's an acid. So because of that, it is very corrosive. So it could cause extreme burns. So you have to be very careful when handling it. And there are some other guidelines to follow also, which you'll find on the bottle. What to do if it actually spills on you? What to do if it gets in your eyes? We'll talk about that um, later on. So just make sure you look at the labels to know how to handle this particular chemical. When working with volatile chemicals, such as 30% formaldehyde, you want to make sure that you work with this chemical underneath the fume hood because this is a volatile compound, so the fumes that it may give off at room temperature could directly affect you if you inhale it. So you want to make sure it's under the fume hood so that the vapors will be sucked up by the fume hood instead of attacking you directly. So when you're handling chemicals in general, you want to make sure you handle them with care so that you avoid spills. So I'm just going to show you an example of what, how to handle the chemical using a pipetter with the serological pipette here. And this one is an automatic pipetter. Now, the, I'm, note that I'm using a pipetter and not pipetting by mouth. So under no circumstances, do not pipe it by mouth because these chemicals are dangerous. This formaldehyde in particular is a cancer-causing agent. So you gently remove the cover from the bottle. You immerse the pipette into the liquid and you slowly pull the liquid up to the desired volume and then you transfer into your beaker right here and immediately after you finish using this liquid you close the bottle and you secure your pipette and here you've handled this with very little spillage. When you're using, um, let us say you don't need as much of this particular formaldehyde as you had thought you needed, even though you have used some and there's some left back, you never pour the formaldehyde back into the stock back bottle because what you can do is to introduce contaminants back into your stock solution. So that's very important. Also, when you have utilized your formaldehyde, you have to get rid of it. But this is one of those chemicals that you don't throw down the sink. Again, it's a very um, carcinogenic agent, so you want to make sure you put it in a waste container. So you could put it in a container like this. You label what's on the container, what's in the container. In this case, it would be formaldehyde, so that the person who needs to dispose of formaldehyde again will know that this is a container to do this. So it's important for you to put the correct waste in the correct waste container.